This is what drivers see when they journey along the middle portion of the North-South Highway, Section 2, which was opened in 2014. But really, it's about what drivers are feeling as their vehicles cruise along First World Road surfaces. And in less than a year, motorists will be experiencing the same smooth ride on Section 1 set for completion in early 2016. Until then, workers are busy paving the way. Okay, this is Section 1A. This project starts in Caymanas and it's about 16 kilometers. Construction work on this section of the highway began in September 2013. Water channels, box culverts, retaining walls and bridges have been built while the road surface is being laid to international highway standards. This stretch of the highway is divided in two. Section 1A is from Caymanas to Giblator near Bogwalk and Section 1B picks up there and ends at the Linstead Interchange located at Threadways. The Angels Interchange is designed with five ramps to take motorists on or off the highway. Ramp A comes from Angels and that leads you into Ramp B and C. Ramp B, you can enter, will make you enter the highway and bring it towards Ochi. And Ramp C now, enters the highway and bring you back to Kingston. And then ramp D is if you're on the highway coming from Kingston, you can bring you towards Angels. And ramp E, if you're on the highway coming from Ochi, it brings you to Angels. The design of section 1A incorporates three intersections. There are four bridges, including two main cross river bridges and one auxiliary cross river bridge, five separate grade crossings and a toll plaza. A lot of cotton fill work has been carried out to get the roadway to the desired standard. What you're looking at in this area is cotton fill work. We're cutting areas where there are high mountains and we use that material to fill sections where there are valleys. Contractors are also laying 26.7 kilometers of subgrade and pavement works. Quality control and monitoring is an important part of the construction process to ensure international standard is maintained throughout the highway. Whether it's a bridge, retaining wall or sub-base of the roadway, strict adherence is placed on structural strength and durability. Every time concrete pours, we have to test the strength to, to ensure the, the consistency. If the, if the strength of the concrete goes below that minimum, say for example, 20 megapascal, then we, 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 we have to do further tests, maybe a core test or an or a ultrasonic test. If it's not okay, then maybe we demolish the structure. A slump test is done on site, while what's called a cube test is done in a lab. The cubes are taken into the lab and then crushed. Once they are crushed, they record a certain assert the strength of the concrete from the test. The intricate technology and construction science involved in work of this magnitude is an important long-term benefit as our engineers absorb the knowledge, realizing government's stated objective of achieving technology transfer from the undertaking. Scholars oh, from three institutions have been making good use of the opportunity for a first-hand experience of this first class construction project. It's great for them to actually come out and see it and you can relate to it and say to it, so look, this is what I've been telling you about. Um, this is the super elevation, that's what it looks like in real life. Um, you're looking at a road which has a transition curve or a spiral curve in it so that um, they are actually living the experience that they, that they had in the classroom. It, it has given me the opportunity to see or oh, the actual theory that we learn is applied in the, in the working world. And to see how the actual maths that we learn is important in designing highways, along with the importance of the surveyor in setting out the different curves and alignments. With an overall design and construction period of 36 months, this section, which started in September 2013, is scheduled to be completed in February 2016. 
The entire North-South Highway project is a friendly investment agreement between the governments of Jamaica and the People's Republic of China. It is being built by China Harbor Engineering Company Limited through the Build, Operate and Transfer Investment Model.